that the friends are letting us use their meeting space. We're using their water, their coffee, their electricity. If people could please put donations in that box over there, it is much appreciated. Thank you. I'm Brandon from Action. Um, the biggest thing is tomorrow we are having an action meeting that's going to be a joint meet, meeting with education and outreach. Um, that is going to be at 7 o'clock. It is at 2322 East Marshall Street. There is an event for that on the Occupy Richmond, <coughs> face, or Occupy Richmond page website. Um, so you can get the details there as well. And the main focus of that meeting is going to be on the February 29th uh, shutdown the corporation day. And our focus is we're, we're looking at the media um, and we're looking at uh, Philip Morris um, and this group called Alec that I need to learn more about tonight. But uh, we're, getting, we're brainstorming, getting the ideas flowing and, and Bentley's already done some work, so she's going to have some, some ideas for us to, to work all of as well, I think. But tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Any other work group announcements? Um, facilitation work group has been meeting on Wednesdays at 7 at a spot called The Classic at 3rd and Clay. Um, I would assume that our next meeting is going to be there. Um, and there should be some sort of announcement in the next two days on that. If you're interested in um, facilitation, uh, you can talk to me. Thanks. I have a question for that. That's it. Oh, what, what, whatever happened to the facilitators that was going from uh, the leadership advantage? Anything, anybody else here in the war? Mm -hmm. uh, they were coming in and doing a workshop? Yeah, um, what, what Mark is asking about is um, we, in De early December, we met with a couple um, older folks who have been doing what we're doing for a very long time and they're skilled in consensus um, facilitation. And like to share with our, us our skills, um, and they've offered a workshop or retreat in late February. Um, they're very knowledgeable, and I'm not sure what's we missed the January date from not organizing uh, in time. And there should be something in late February with them um, that I assume <coughs> will be brought to GA for the approval of the date and stuff because we'd really like a lot of people to be there because they have a lot of awesome information to share. Yeah, clarifying question? Yeah, has facilitation uh, looked into making different arrangements here? Different arrangements? In light of Alan's announcement on Thursday, and he doesn't want us going through him to make arrangements here. Right. Um, we met on Wednesday. I don't know if other people on the facilitation team have talked about that, but I haven't talked about that with them. I was told there was some potential stuff in the works for a possible space, but we don't, I guess, technically know where our next meeting is, but there's a good chance that, I think Emily said she was... I haven't checked my email since last Friday, but I sent you an email to uh, see if we could line up some days in February for the, U the UU church. But also, I have a, a new house with open space that we might consider if we need, if it comes down to it. Yeah, I would like to add to Ben that I was going to let you know what you just said. Same for me. If we come push on the show, my home is open. Just give me a heads up. Awesome. All right, um, I think that's it for work announcements. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. I'm sorry. your hand. Teddy Parr, <coughs> Dominion Power Work Group. Now, I have attempted to contact Mr. Ross again, and they heard about the clash of the occupants. So, I don't know whether they're going to work with us or what, but I'm pushing that because I don't know if you all have seen on the news where in New York City you had two prominent schools where all of these kids in high school now are getting sick. It's like 20 some kids in one school and 15 in another and they were perfectly normal 
and now they're having tics and they're falling, their legs are going out from under them and they don't know what it is. But if I put my money on it, I would say it's got a lot to do with the nuclear power plants, the coal burning power plants, that the residue is the um, fly ash from the coal <coughs> with all the mercury and everything. And then I used to work for CSX and these trains are hauling coal all over the country and they don't cover it up. And when it rains, that rain seeps through the coal and then they got the little holes in the bottom of the trains and that seeps into the ground. So something is mysteriously messing all of these well-to-do kids up. So I figured maybe they'll find out an answer now because they're not the poor kids, but at least they're kids. So it's so much pollution. We need to get on Dominion Power. That's one thing we need to do. We know how toxic Dominion Power is. We know that the kids that live around the power plants and the lines are deformed and have all these mental problems. We just got a lot of work to do. If this group put as much energy into occupying Richmond the way it should be as you all put into hating Chris Dorsey, hell, we would have been gone. We would have been the top of the line. So we need to take this energy that they had for Chris Dorsey, all that hatred, and um, focus that energy on solving the problems in the city. I'm saying this to you guys. If you're not serious about helping the poor, beg <coughs> the GA to come down to the churches to meet the people like I met them on Friday. Hundreds of people. Nobody's interested in that. These are the people we're supposed to be helping. I don't understand. So my thing is, if you're not serious, can we get out? Can you get out? It's something like you did, Chris. If you're not serious about making a change for the better for all of us, then like you did, Chris, just be man or woman enough to leave the organization because time is running. Moving on to informal proposals. General House is at the end, after formal. So informal proposals, <laughs> and we actually, uh, just to let everyone know, we do not, um, I have not received any formal proposals. So if somebody, ha oh, you have a, okay. All right, so we have one, and that's the only thing that's on our agenda for this evening. So informal proposals, uh, stack is opening now. Oh.